Speaking of drugs and stuff, have you seen the video by Steve-O that's been recommended lately? That, yes. I, was, I wanted to talk about that. I, I've seen it. It's, it's very so interesting. interesting. It's, yeah. um, Where he his, talked about all the drugs he's done? Yeah, yeah and he shows most, video he shows footage video. of him on them. It's fucking in, like, incredible. Archival right. footage, yeah. It's very interesting. Information. Like, he shows the, the tapes that they went through. Yeah. Boxes on boxes on boxes of just like <laughs> fucked footage. Huge they just archive. filmed everything. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's insane. And he did some really wild stuff. Oh yeah. my God. I didn't think it was that bad. I think it was videos of him on Al Alcohol. Yeah, he said he tried. Alcohol. Yeah, he tried. <laughs> That's the worst he tried, one. He tried ketamine, I believe. He talked about his acid experience. He talked about yeah. shrooms. Mm -hmm. He said he hated shrooms. Um, and then he talked about nitrous oxide, which was, which was his big one. one. He also, well, one. he said ketamine was the worst, but nitrous oxide was the, was the worst was, just before. Yeah. But he also did so much coke that he, he has a hole between his nostrils. Yeah, yeah so he could try to shoelace. He said he used them. to take Ugh. coke on planes with him by. Uh, Putting it in money. Yeah, he would like have a stack of cash and have a little thing of coke in it. Because the TSA agents would never touch his cash. Thank God we still have Steve-O, you know. Yeah, I, funny crazy, crazy. funny story about Steve-O. I don't know if you remember it, Mason. We went, we went When we were in LA, yeah. we went to his comedy show. We like He drove us there to his own comedy show with yeah. him and Banks. And I distinctly recall him talking to us about nitrous oxide. Really? And he just straight up like looks at us both and just like, never do that shit. Right. Yeah. And yeah, I was like, for anyone who doesn't know, Steve O's completely sober now. Yeah, yeah. completely has been for like five years Fucking or something. Legend. He looks very crazy. healthy. He looks great. Yeah. Good for yeah. him. Man. But it, uh, that's an insane moment. Like, yeah. Well, what was the deal with that? I mean, is there more to it than that? Well, he was, you know, he was having a lot of nitrous and he was yeah, hitting like canisters and canisters and canisters, huffing and huffing. And he was just, he would huff so much, he'd go, he'd just go completely bonkers. I mean, hallucinations. He said he hallucinated his own uh, intervention. He said he, he hallucinated <laughs> a bunch of people sat down in the room and started talking to him about how he shouldn't be doing it. Wow. And then he came to and realized that literally nobody was there. Yeah. And so he had a comedy show, and one of the jokes was, you know, you know you have a problem when you're hallucinating your own intervention. Yeah, that's fair. He <laughs> said know. he got, because uh, the Jackass guys gave him a proper intervention, after he was on like a, it was like a week long ketamine bender or something. <laughs> yeah. What's, what is what is ket? What does that do to a person? I've, I've it, heard it, it has like benefits. Insane. It makes you fucking yeah. just. Aren't well, they using it for therapy these days? They do. My sister had ketamine therapy. Really? Yeah, she had intravenous. Maybe wow. I'm thinking of something therapy. else then. And she had a hundred milligram lozenge a day for like three days. Wow. Oh, dude, she was fucking off her face. Ketamine's horse really? in, a, in a good way. Yeah. Um, so. Yeah. What, what is it? Doesn't it? Um. Isn't it very like? Isn't it a disassociative? It's a. It's complete disassociative. Right. Yeah. I mean, it, the way her experiences as she described them to me. Uh, were very much like a psychedelic trip, but she was on a lot. She was getting it, you know, Every IV'd day. into her for like several hours in a Fucking doctor's hell. office. This was uh, for migraine treatments, for treatment uh, for pain. Oh, it shit. only lost like forty minutes, though, right? The trip. Uh, no yeah, I think about, I've been well. something like, like really that. Small. I don't know. Again, I don't know that much about ketamine, hmm. but I know that it's yeah, it could be used to treat chronic pain, chronic illness. Uh, it could be used to treat uh, depression and anxiety. Isn't, PTSD. Isn't it the one that was, you know how there was all those videos that went around of people that were walking around looking like zombies and they looked like crazy? Bar salts. Mm. Wasn't that oh, ketamine? Yeah, that, that or was, was that bar salts? That was bar salts. <laughs> yeah. Constantly yeah. like being zombies and shit. Mm. Yeah. They looked insane. Yeah. No, it's fucked up. Drugs are fucked. Yep. Mm. Yeah. Some like it just... I didn't even know know what half of them were called. I didn't even know they existed. Yeah. And the thing, with, the thing with like... Uh, you know, man-made drugs like synthetic drugs. You never fucking know what you're taking unless you test yeah, it. You need yeah. to make sure that you no test. one tests it. Yeah. If, I if anybody in the audience is ever going to do any drugs, make sure that you're testing it with a reagent kit. Yeah. yeah. So make if sure. you ever smoke weed, uh, pour some reagent all over it to yeah. make sure that it's real. Yeah. You want to wash <laughs> nice it. And soggy. You, you want to wash it in the sink with soap and water. Yeah. Yeah. To wash I, out I, all the all the bad yeah. omens. In the uh, in the video with Steve, I think the funniest part was when he's like, um, right at the end, he's like. I've done all these drugs, but the ones I won't do are like meth and stuff like that because they're just fucked. And I'm like, it was like meth and heroin. Yeah, no, no, meth. no, he did a lot of meth. He said, he said meth. Um, he was like, I would never, never, ever buy meth, but I would also never turn it down. Yeah. That's and right, then, that's but then right. he said heroin. He just would never yeah. take. Yeah. Well, fuck, he, he would never inject anything. Yeah, that's, oh, that's true. right. But yeah. it's, it's crazy how he's like yeah. done all of those drugs. Yeah, he said, there's still some that you like stay away from. Like, 
He said the ketamine comes crazy. in like little vials and that he would throw it in the microwave and it would turn into powder and then he would snort it. Yeah, yeah. he was yeah. snorting yeah. crazy. Camp, which, was, which was pretty funny. It'd be up. interesting to get on the podcast. Oh, yeah. That, that would be, be wild. fucking crazy. Yeah, I mean, that man has unlimited stories. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, yeah absolutely. Remember that time he was on top of the crane like riding oh, an inflatable sea whale yeah, or something? Yeah, fuck sea world. Yeah. He's yeah. lived a very, very crazy life, hasn't yeah. he? Yeah. yeah. What was your like impression of him when you met him? Like how long did you actually spend with him? He seems well, like I'd he would be a probably, sweet, like a, just a really like nice a guy. A few hours, a couple hours, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like so, just completely genuine, like normal guy. He drove a normal car, like just someone normal that you'd meet on the street. So because like, I think um, I'm not sure was I there when that happened with you guys. You guys, you were saying it uh, with uh, Cloud House, right? Yeah. And uh, yeah, I remember Banks saying like, "Yo, Steve was here." Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You were supposed to come, but you were just like completely fucked uh, on edibles. So <laughs> <laughs> you were, you really were out for like up. four days. <laughs> yeah. No, I was recovering from that crazy yeah, yeah, night. Yeah, yeah. Man, well, that was crazy. With, with, when Ryan threw up in the nacho bowl. Yeah. Yeah, the nacho. Yeah. The nacho That's bowl. like one of the oh, early podcast uh, stories. Fuck the nacho bowl. <laughs> I saw that the day after and just oh, looked like an abomination. Dude, Dude LA just is fucking. Some crazy shit always happens when I go to LA, and we're about to go in two days. I'm nervous. Yeah, I'm also it's nervous. Good luck. Us three. Seriously. Yeah, yeah it's good luck. It's me, Toby, and Fitz going to TwitchCon, mm. which is going to be fun. I think we're going to be doing a meet and greet. Yeah. But, uh, on the by Sunday. The, by the time Sunday. that this comes out, that'll be over. Like, we'll Oh, be, yeah, it's true. Yeah, yeah it's after true. After the weekend. Um, anyway, though, so yeah, so what? Steve O just, just like shows up, he rocks up. Rocks up. We're like, we're expecting this. I, I was expecting to freak out, like, oh my God, it's fucking Steve O. Yeah. He just like introduces himself. Hi, I'm Steve O. Handshake. This mm. is completely normal. Like, it, it, I can't say anything more. It was just a normal dude. Yeah. Right. You yeah, wouldn't was, have expected he's what, done all that crazy shit. How was like, the show? Absolutely, like, fucking phenomenal. It was fucking hilarious. It was like the, probably the first. I think it actually was the first comedy show I've ever been to. Yeah. Oh, and really? Like, of course, it was one of the fucking good one of those yeah. ones. Like, that's so good, sick. It was a good one to start with. Yeah, exactly. I don't think anything will top it. Yeah. Like, mad respect to those fucking jackass guys. Mm -hmm. like, like, they have my full unadulterated respect. Yeah, like, even if you don't like, uh, don't enjoy what they yeah. were making, you still got to respect it. It was, <laughs> yeah, man. it was crazy. I watched the fuck out of jackass when I yeah. was way too young to watch jackass. Yep. Same. It really kind of, it was actually what made me fall in love with the internet, I think, and YouTube. Cause I would, mm. one of the, the first things I was consuming was clips of jackass or Bam Margera, like yeah, doing dumb stuff or, Pranks um, and shit. And me and my friends were trying to like replicate it yep. like at school. <laughs> hey, jump off this flight of stairs. <laughs> Literally, yeah. like you just like dumb fucking challenges ankles. and stuff. You know what's so funny about the Bam Margera stuff is like, he was just a pro skater. Who then yeah. made a show where he just fucked with his parents? Mm -hmm. Like, <laughs> did he also make a show where he like got married or whatever? It was like Bam Margera. Maybe was I have no he idea. had a lot of shows. He uh, he, he did a lot massive. for MTV. That's back when MTV was respectable, uh, respectable, <laughs> and not a piece of dog yeah. shit. Well, well, TV's kind of dead now, I guess. Yeah. If we were to <clears throat> make a TV show, it's hypothetical. If we were to make a TV show on any network, what network would you want to have a show on? YouTube, YouTube. Yeah. <laughs> or Netflix. Yeah. You think a Netflix special? Netflix would be fuck, fucking. Why the fuck would we do TV? What if it was like Hulu? <clears throat> I I don't really. Know I don't know what Hulu, Hulu is. What about Amazon? Well, Amazon, Amazon, Amazon Prime? Amazon Video. Prime? That's on mine as well. <laughs> <Prime>. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but I feel like Amazon Video would have a lot of rules. Uh, I don't know. I think Netflix is. <laughs> I don't. Know, I don't fucking know. I mean, you're what we're. It would be a decision based on like the contract, you know, which is like <laughs> we true. don't know what the fuck it's gonna look like. <laughs> this is hypothetical as well. Yeah. Netflix and us all. Yeah, if there's any big TV executives watching, <sighs> yeah, they love just, us, dude. Yeah, just send us <laughs> send us an email. They love us. Mm. No, but I mean, uh, I recently watched um, the uh, Shia LaBeouf Hot Ones interview. I don't know if you guys saw that. No, mm -hmm. I haven't. Mm. Shia LaBeouf is another one of those characters who I, like has clearly been through the ringer in his career. Like he's gone some places mentally and stuff much mm. in the same way that steve has although probably i imagine at least with less drugs involved yeah. and it's kind of come out as this weirdly like zenned out introspective yeah. person where you can just tell that he has kind of found like inner peace yeah I hope it's so. really great to see that in people like steve and shia labeouf yeah, after that he will not divide us debacle oh, I, mean, I, I hope he's in a better mental state you can just oh my god dude the trolls really gave him a oh yeah gave him a run oh yeah i mean who knows how he really felt about the situation during that whole thing but like it's cool to see him now and be like oh this guy's really gained some perspective on himself and he's fucking yeah. clearly got a very unique wisdom to share yeah i loved mm -hmm. him and even stevens dude I was a guy. fan of that shit when I was like six, seven, hmm. I was really do young. You, do you guys think it takes a breaking point to realize that sort of thing? Because most of the time when you hear about these people that have found their peace and stuff, it was usually before. Mm -hmm. But that's because like the a, only people that you hear about it from 
other, other people that people have, have yeah, yeah. it's like so people that just find peace yeah you know it's not that interesting yeah, <laughs> I've, always, yeah, yeah. I've always wondered about that it's like, just i think it's just a sign of like fundamental maturity yeah. like um and some people get there and some people don't mm. some people like are kids forever yeah. like, i mentally. mean some people never leave high school mentally the same mm. thing the that you same thing that you see in shia labeouf it's probably the same thing that you kind of see in someone like russell brand you know sure, people people that go through those struggles and hit a hit a pretty damn mm. you know hard low yeah. You know, they just levitate back up and then find an identity and find some kind of peace and some yeah. routine, and then they 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 just live. Yeah, well, what I I think I what I respect about people like that is you can just tell that they have personally stripped away their ego and they are now just a person, and mm -hmm. they're kind of they're still in this elevated position, and they're on camera and they're doing interviews and whatever, but you can tell that mentally at least they're not like inflated about it. Yeah. And they're just kind of raw, and they're like, just I don't know, like when they're in, when they're in interviews, it's like they're just talking, yeah. and the cameras are just there. Very honest. It's yeah. very like I don't know. It's cool to see. It's genuine. That is cool. It's to genuine. See. Yeah. Ho hopefully, I'll be there someday. I'm fucking egotistical yeah. shit. <laughs> <laughs>